by Apollo's grace, I sing today of the great hunt for the Adelian boar. Twas in the city of Caledon, where the foolish king Aeneas once forgot to honor Artemis in the harvest sacrifices. Insulted, the goddess of the hunt sent the largest and most ferocious boar the world had ever seen to devastate the land. It destroyed crops and slew cattle, and the terrified farmers had to seek refuge inside the city walls. Tales of the notorious monster attracted many famous hunters and heroes from all over Greece who were seeking to win its hide and the glory of the kill. One of them was Atalanta, a fierce huntress, who some said had been trained by Artemis herself. Though some objected to the presence of a woman, they all banded together for the hunt. And while it was Aeneas's son Meliager who struck the killing blow, she had been the first to wound it where many others had failed. It was then, after the actual threat had been vanquished, that their worst trouble started with smitten Meliager offering the prized hide to Atalanta instead of keeping it for Caledon. His proud relatives took offense and stole it, which infuriated him. And so Artemis's vengeance went on as Aeneas's family proceeded to destroy itself in a tragic spiral of killing and revenge. Yes, stranger! We are heading north to the Celtic lands. It would be a long journey for us, but I guess we could use a skilled warrior on board. Hello. Did you have a safe journey? From Greece, yes? With some good wine, perhaps? We're still loading this ship, but then I can attend to yours. Halt! Well, you don't look like a traitor. What is your business here? Are you here to help in the mine? Just passing through, eh? Something tells me you're up to more than that. Hey, you. Yeah, you. Hey, have you seen my wife Kaomine anywhere? That useless wench has been gone all day. Muttered something about food. I can't remember, but now I'm famished and she still isn't here. Why you? Well, I don't know. You look like you've been around a lot. I just want to know if you've seen her. A pretty young thing, red hair and a, and a green gown. Greeting, stranger. If you're looking for our chieftain, his house is the big one up behind the marketplace. You can't miss it. I am Gorkin, the owner of the Lemberg Mine. If you want salt, you come to me. Yes, the route to Glauberg is also that way, but I'm not a travel guide. If you're going there, however, I may have a little business proposal for a capable and trusty warrior like yourself. 
Deliveries from the mine have become irregular recently. Something down there has kept the workers from mining, and the guards haven't been able to deal with it. I have no idea what it might be, but if you were to go and solve that little problem for me, I would reward you handsomely. To get to the mine, go past the farms outside the main gate, and then follow the road to the left. It's really not that hard to find. Have you seen these walls? Mud bricks on a limestone foundation. The latest fashion from my home in Etruria. You'll see nothing like it anywhere in the Celtic lands. They certainly spared no expense to make an impression. Transport east to Illyria, west to Iberia. No worries. Our roads are Greetings, good. Greetings, stranger. I'm looking after these goods until my master, the great druid Artibuts, returns from the forest. Can I interest a pleasure doing business with you? The river is lovely at this time of year, is it not? I love watching the ships come and go, imagining where they could have come from. Above everything it gives to us is a trade route. We sometimes fail to appreciate its beauty. Yes, foreigner, I am a bard, a poet, as you southerners would say. A teacher, a philosopher, but most of all, I am a personal counselor to Buderix, our glorious leader, ever since I foretold that he would be the next king. If he can't spare the time, you can bring any matters to me, but only important ones, please. Welcome, warrior. I am Borderix, High Chieftain of the Vindalici. I have heard stories like yours of strange attacks up in the north, but nothing definite enough to concern me. We have our own problems here, and while the trade is good, those northmen are our enemies as much as they are our friends. Who knows why their strange gods would turn against them? Maybe they deserve their anger. You're free to go and investigate, of course, although the way is long and dangerous. If you leave by the main gate, follow the road up the mountain in the east. Our sentry at the top can tell you the best way to Glauberg. I don't hear any chanting. Why didn't you just say so? I've come across old manuscripts that I have only partially translated. But I'm pretty sure the path to an old kingdom is described within them. A kingdom of unimagined technology and wonder. I'm talking about the fallen realm of Atlantis. One can only begin to imagine what secrets are hidden there. A prize well worth seeking. However... I'm in need of some assistance. You see, so far I've only been able to figure out that the key to deciphering the documents lies in another manuscript, the Journal of Heracles, functioning as sort of a cipher. I believe this text can be found in the city of Gadir, which is said to have been founded by the man himself, far away, west in the pen. Here!
Here we are, the city of Gadir, rich with dyes and wine. Seems like a nice enough place to settle down in, but we are here for business. As you know, I can't decipher the manuscripts without a certain book, the Journal of Heracles, said to be found somewhere in this area. To learn more about the whereabouts of this diary, I think we should seek out Asmelkar, the current head priest. He's sure to know where the book is, or at least have some clue. He ought to be up by the temple further into the city. Greetings, hero. It's all or nothing. Good luck. Feeling lucky? Come back anytime. Do you like me playing the Aulos? The merchants tell that this instrument was invented by Athena herself, but she threw it away after seeing what blowing it made her face look like. Luckily for you, we bandsmen don't mind looking silly if you enjoy it. Hail, traveler! You gaze upon the chisel muscularity of the head priest of the cult of Heracles, patron deity of this city. Asmelkart be my name. You search for the journal of Heracles, you say? Ah, you mean the sacred texts. They can be found in the tomb of the legendary king Argonthonios the Old, of course. A wise king, ruling the lands before either Greek or Phoenician settlers walked upon these shores. He is said to have been the first disciple of Heracles. I would take you to his grave myself, but... <laughs> well, to be frank, I am afraid. Our beautiful burial grounds are currently closed to visitors. We're doing some... maintenance work. Now, bother me no longer. You are disturbing my exercise routine. Okay, <laughs> you got me. We are having a bit of a ghost problem right now. The dead have grown restless and walk again. Ill omens have been observed. Mayhaps the Hound of the Underworld has slipped his bonds. What can mere mortals do against such sorcery, I ask you? And to make matters worse, it seems that old King Argonthorius himself has crawled out of his sarcophagus in search of blood, leaving the sacred texts unguarded. You can handle it, you say. <laughs> I suppose I could let you borrow the sacred texts if you make it. <laughs> although I doubt it. But I can tell that you've already made up your mind. The necropolis lies farther inland. Just exit the city through the main gate and follow the path. It should be easy enough to find. May Heracles give you strength.
By the favour of the muses, I will tell of the task that first brought Lord Heracles to our humble city. It was to Erethea that he was sent, just west of here, to steal the red cattle of the giant Geryon as his tenth and final labour. Geryon was a fearsome warrior with the bodies of three men growing from his hips. So he fought with three shields, three spears, and three helmets on his heads. And he would have won their fight if cunning Heracles had not used the poison of the Hydra to bring him down. If you are a treasure hunter, you may also have an interest in the mystical kingdom of Tartessos, just north of here. They say it was so rich in silver that they named their ruler the Silver King, Argentonios. At some point it vanished, however, and nobody quite knows why. Hello there! An explorer, eh? Following the call of the great big world. You know, when I was your age, I also could never stay in one place. Gadir is my home now, I suppose, but the truth is that my friend Hiram and I haven't really had one since we first got on that trade ship in Byblos. You have not met him by any chance, have you? He wanted to make a short trip to the cave just outside Gadir, but has been gone for quite a while. Would you mind keeping an eye out for him? Bald guy with a cypress cane? I don't know what happened. I was exploring this cave like any other. Then, all of a sudden, I was surrounded by those devils. 
And while I would not want to deny anyone their lunch, I was rather eager not to be part of it. <laughs> Thank you for showing up. Actually, I was looking for another cave. But when I found this entrance, <laughs> I couldn't just leave it unexplored, now could I? <laughs> well, I think I have had enough adventure for one day. See you around, hero!
This cannot be opened. Hmm, fine weapons. Look at them, the best. Jesus guide you. Welcome back! I am impressed and grateful. You've cleared the graveyard of the undead, a labor befitting Heracles himself. <laughs> Perhaps the sacred texts belonged with you all along. Let's flex! You found Tartesian artifacts in the tombs. Oh, that is great. So my theory was correct. Anatha is the best. 
But C worries too much. Probably because I'm starting to get ahead of her. <laughs> Hiram is safe. Thanks to you, King of the Dark Caves and Open Roads. And here I thought I'd have to go look for him myself. Welcome, traveler. I am what you would call a transmuter. If you seek the thrill of the betting game, I can provide it. For a coin or two, of course. You'll be back. No funny business. Good luck! What else? I have more! You return! <laughs> My friend, you are wonderful! Now, let's just have a look here. Yes, now I understand it all. The path ahead will be fraught with danger. Good thing I have you. We need to find two artifacts to open the path to Atlantis. One will help us find our way, the other will steal the lethal whirlpools that are churning around the island ever since Poseidon struck down the city in anger. The first item is hidden on a small island not too far from here, known as Gaulos. It was once a colony of the Atlanteans. It seems this island had a specific purpose serving as a religious complex where rites and sacrifices were made. As it happens, I already know a captain who frequents those waters. Just tell him you're with me, and he'll take you along. His ship is moored on the southern coast, just beyond the harbor. Do you like me playing the Aulos? <laughs> 